This is KBOI 2 News This Morning. 613, starting a new life in the U.S. can be difficult for refugees as it is. But imagine losing your only connection to housing, jobs, and other basic needs. Well, that's what happened here in Boise when World Relief announced it was closing its doors earlier this year. But I met with a group that's now going the extra mile to make sure those refugees are not forgotten. It was a shock. It was a blow. You can barely make out the words World Relief on the sign that's been turned backwards on Fairview. The same words scratched off another sign out front, but the logo of the former Boise Resettlement Agency still remains. Imagine being in a war-torn country and, um, and then living in a camp and then finding out that, yay, you're going to America, and then to get here and a couple months later, the people that you have started to build a relationship with and uh, look to for guidance are no longer there. The building is just a shell of what it used to be. No more refugees will enter these doors. No more will start new lives here. I think we were all we were all anticipating bad news. Unfortunately, that was just kind of the feeling. In February, World Relief announced five offices across the country would be closing. 140 staff members would be laid off. This is a picture of um, my first Christmas party with the staff at World Relief. I just kind of take it with me because they're the ones that gave me my start, you know. Joel Friesen used to work at the World Relief Boise office. I've seen about a dozen, about a dozen people um, like in the lobby or, or parking their cars or, or walking up to the building. Now she works here at the International Rescue Committee, or IRC. I think that it's helped them feel a little less like the new kid on the block. There used to be three refugee resettlement agencies in Boise. Now there are just two. The IRC and one other agency in town took in the World Relief refugees who needed support. Not only that, but the IRC hired someone specifically to help these World Relief refugees. We are an extension from World Relief. We're here. April Mantha and the rest of the crew here help them find and secure jobs if they haven't already and anything else they may need to become independent. Maybe wanting stuff like how do I pay back my travel loan. For the IRC's executive director, Julianne donnelly Zool, it was no question they were going to step in and support those World Relief refugees. We're going to help them if they come to our doors, no matter what. Many who work here will tell you once you witness all that these folks have gone through, there's no question people here will lend a helping hand to those who need one. And the number of refugees allowed in this country is now significantly reduced. A maximum of 45,000 refugees will be allowed to settle here this fiscal year. That's less than half the number of refugees President Obama had set that cap at, 110,000. So the executive director at the IRC says with fewer refugees to help, they're now working to deepen their support for those who are here. Um, so we've been designing and launching new programs around housing, around youth services, around women's employment. IRC is, for example, the IRC is working hard to get more housing partners so refugees have a place ready for them when they first move here.